Good evening, guys, and welcome back to the classroom with Architect Mark. Tonight, we're going to talk about one of the components of SketchUp that gets installed when you put it in your computer, which is layout. Now, we don't really talk about this in uh, university because the output that is required of SketchUp doesn't really match to this. Now, we're talking about it here because layout actually is a pretty powerful tool and if you know how to use it, you're going to be able to create drawings as simple as when you've completed your model already. So. Let's head on over to the classroom and look at what that is all about with this model that we have right here. Okay, so let's start the timer and talk about layout. So, SketchUp doesn't really have a renderer built in what you can expect of it without putting any plugins in is exporting a 2D image which looks like this. So you go to export 2D graphic and then it's that. There's a few options here. Use view size which means it's this or you can specify a particular view size which will be cut from your current view. So Let's say, for example, we want a, a full HD image here. You can see that it adjusts the output to match the aspect ratio of our view. You can't really identify it uh, independently of each other. And that's it. That's all you get. You get, get an image of the view and sometimes that's just basically not enough now what it does have that is unique and uh, unlike other 3d programs is this you can send it to layout and here's what that would look like so I already sent it out to layout uh, before we started and this is what that looks like when you send it in uh, after choosing a paper from the uh, startup screen because it, it will ask you what paper do you want to use. Um, why that's important is because layout has the ability to scale things for you without having to go through so much uh, calculations like you would normally have to do, especially in older AutoCAD versions, you had to manually input that. And so that's, uh, we don't need to do that now, thankfully. And this is another one of those tools that will allow you to speed up your process. So what do we have? So basically, in layout, there's a the paper that you choose. So this is using an A3 sized paper. And then you also have a default tray right here with its own set of uh, tabs. It also has an instructor, of course. Uh, scrapbooks are stuff that you might want to put into your into your drawing like for example you want the trees here so you have a selection of trees you can just bring it over you select it here and bring it over and then selection follows pretty much what you have in SketchUp. So 
was so happy. Uh, selection from right to left that also works. Basically, it's like if we have layout in CAD, this is its version. A basically separate program for SketchUp. So we're using a, a piece of paper already and what you would want to be doing here is activating specific views inside of your model. So this does require that your model already has scenes that you are sure you would want here. And uh, you have to have those recorded on the file so that you can invoke them here in layout. There is there are already the principal or cardinal directions. They are all present here. So elevations are very easy. You, for example, take the model, right click on it. Let's right click up here so you can see everything. And you can select a standard view. Like for example, we want the front of the house to show here. And let's remove perspective so that we end up with a true elevation right here. So as you can see, there is scaling that happens in, in the drawing. And we don't want that. We want it to be a specific size for this paper. And how you would do that is you right click on your uh, model that's basically placed here and then all the way down the bottom there is a scale here and you can choose from one of the default ones here so let's go with 1 is to 100 scale and as you can see the the, the model move to react to 1 is to 100 and when we try to uh, reduce this view window. This is just the same as MV in CAD. So as you can see when we're moving that now it doesn't change. At least the the model size gets to be maintained at 1 is to 100. And so there you have it. This is already front elevation material. Let's do one of the side. Uh, what you can do is you can copy this. And you can paste it. So it pasted it in place and we now have another view which we can now re-identify into like the right the right. And you just wait for it to refresh and it will show you what exactly is it that you are looking for. bit for better visualization all right I just wanted it to be this one all right there we have it to keep this So I just did a control paste, control copy and paste. Uh, inference locks are also available to you here. So when you hold shift, it locks the movement to downwards or laterally. Uh, so let's change this to the rear of the model.
you need to be sure that they're just selecting one because uh, some of the menus here on context you won't find uh, if you if you don't do that let's say oh I was changing the view to the rear and here they call it back so once the 100 is still maintained if there it's necessary for you to move the boundaries of the MV you can do so or model view and then this one goes to that so that should be pretty good this thing is especially useful for uh, students who are just about to take their thesis also. Because once you've completed your model in SketchUp, you technically already have uh, elevation drawings, section drawings, plan drawings. Even if this is not a BIM software, you still are able to get that much information out of a single model because of the power of the layout. So what else can we do with layout? Well, you can add pages, of course. It doesn't need to be just the one. You can add maybe another page for sections and then another page for something else the main problem that you will almost 100 percent encounter with using layout is it gets pretty heavy pretty fast because even though this is just referencing one model let's see how the size of this layout file actual layout file has when it's saved so let's call it test layout and uh, file size so layout files are dot layout by uh, by association so let's just find where that is. So, okay, this file is 377 kilobytes. It's very small, but then let's look at the size of this file right here that we have. Okay, our file size, the model's file size is 1.28 megabytes. Which means that the layout file is basically just a carrier. But in order to display this much information to you, it eats up quite a bit of the uh, power of the computer. So be wary of that, but as you can see, you can do you can get a lot of value with sketchup and layout combined you just have to annotate these and we'll get to that in the next classroom for now that's it i'll see you guys again tomorrow take care bye bye